Question 16. What is a mapping? Session, worklet, workflow, maplet. Answer. A mapping represents data flow from sources to targets. A maplet creates or configures a set of transformations. A workflow is a set of instructions that tell the Informatica server how to execute the tasks. A worklet is an object that represents a set of tasks. A session is a set of instructions that describe how and when to move data from sources to targets. Question 17. What are parameter files? Where do we use them? Answer. Parameter file defines the value for parameter and variable used in a workflow, worklet or session. Question 18. Can we override a native SQL query within Informatica? Where do we do it? How do we do it? Answer. Yes, we can override a native SQL query in source qualifier and lookup transformation. In lookup transformation we can find SQL override in lookup properties. By using this option we can do this. Question 19. Can we use procedural logic inside Informatica? If yes how? If no how can we use external procedural logic in Informatica? Answer. Yes, you can use advanced external transformation. You can use C++ language on Unix and C++, VBVC++ on Windows Server. Question 20. Do we need an ETL tool? When do we go for the tools in the market? Answer. ETL tool. It is used to extract a data from multiple source systems like RDBMS flat files, mainframes, SAP, XML ETC, transform T, then based on business requirements and load L in target locations like tables, files. Need of ETL tool. An ETL tool is typically required when data scattered across different systems like RDBMS, flat files, files, mainframes, SAP, XML. Question 21. How to determine what records to extract? Answer. When addressing a table some dimension key must reflect the need for a record to get extracted. Mostly it will be from time dimension e.g. date greater than equals first of current month or a transaction flag example. Order invoiced stat. Foolproof would be adding an archive flag to record which gets reset when record changes. Question 22. What is full load and incremental or refresh load? Answer. Full load. Completely erasing the contents of one or more tables and reloading with fresh data. Incremental load. Applying ongoing changes to one or more tables based on a predefined schedule. Question 23. When do we analyze the tables? How do we do it? Answer. The analyze statement allows you to validate and compute statistics for an index, table, or cluster. These statistics are used by the cost-based optimizer when it calculates the most efficient plan for retrieval. In addition to its role in statement optimization, analyze also helps in validating object structures and in managing space in your system. You can choose the following operations, computer, estimate, and delivery. Delete. Early version of Oracle 7 produced unpredictable results when the estimate operation was used. It is best to compute your statistics. Question 24. Compare ETL and manual development? Answer. These are some differences B, W manual and ETL development. ETL the process of extracting data from multiple sources, X, flat files, XML, COBOL, SAP ETC is more simpler with the help of tools. High and clear visibility of logic. Contains metadata and changes can be done easily. Error handling, log summary and load progress makes life easier for developer and maintainer. Can handle historical historic data very well. Manual loading the data other than flat files and oracle table need more effort, complex and not so user-friendly visibility of logic. No metadata concept and changes needs more effort, need maximum effort from maintenance point of view, as data grows the processing time degrades. Question 25. What is real-time data warehousing? Answer. In real-time data warehousing, the warehouse is updated every time the system performs a transaction. It reflects the real-time business data. This means that when the query is fired in the warehouse, the state of the business at that time will be returned. Question 26. Explain the use lookup tables and aggregate tables. Answer. An aggregate table contains summarized view of data. Lookup tables, using the primary key of the target, allow updating of records based on the lookup condition. 
Question 27. Define slowly changing dimensions, SCD. Answer, SCD are dimensions whose data changes very slowly. Example, city or an employee. This dimension will change very slowly. The row of this data in the dimension can be either replaced completely without any track of old record or a new row can be inserted, or the change can be tracked. Question 28. What is cube grouping? Answer. A transformer built set of similar cubes is known as cube grouping. They are generally used in creating smaller cubes that are based on the data in the level of dimension. Question 29. What is data warehousing? Answer. A data warehouse can be considered as a storage area where relevant data is stored irrespective of the source. Data warehousing merges data from multiple sources into an easy and complete form. Question 30. What is virtual data warehousing? Answer. A virtual data warehouse provides a collective view of the completed data. It can be considered as a logical data model of the containing metadata.